Hey everybody, welcome back to season two, episode one of the You Should Know podcast. Guys, you can make some noise. This is exciting. Come on, everybody. There we go. There we go. Absolutely not. What are we doing? What what was that? I never want another button to be pressed again. But guys, this is an exciting time. I mean, I haven't posted a podcast in months, in months, but we've been working really hard. TikTok has taken off. I don't know if you guys follow me on TikTok, but we're almost at 300,000 followers on TikTok. And I don't even know what it is by the time I post this, but I just want to thank everybody for being so loyal and riding with me through these times. I just haven't been sitting on my butt. We actually have been doing a lot. I don't know if you've seen, I don't know if I've posted the announcement video for the uh, studio yet, but if I haven't, guys, we have our own studio. This is You Should Know Studios LLC. This is the permanent home of the podcast. So anything you will see from me, unless I like fly somewhere for a guest, then it will be on these couches with this screen. It's cool, right? Like You Should Know Studios is its own thing. We've been working very hard, and I have some updates for you guys. I want to let you guys know how season two is going to go. I'm not going to be taking a long month breaks anymore because this season is really going to be like more personal. It's going to be more one-on-one stuff. As you can see right now, I'm going to be talking about my week, talking about my life, talking about current events, but also we will sprinkle guests in there. Every episode, I will try to have at least one guest on, whether that be a friend, whether it be a fan, whether that be an athlete, a celebrity, anybody, and just have some cool conversations. It's not going to be so uptight and like, professional even though this is like a professional set don't get it messed up but you know i just want to have more fun and i want you guys to be involved in the podcast too so that's why you can dm me on instagram and send me video submissions and like questions topics anything and your face will be right here by me and we'll feature you on the podcast and i think that's pretty cool because i just want to have like a community i want everybody to feel like we're family because we are and i love you guys so so much but the structure of this podcast this is how it's going to go for season two At the beginning, I'm going to be on and just telling you about my life, talking about topics, you know, funny, quirky stories as y'all love on TikTok. And then we'll have a friend segment or a celebrity segment or anybody or interview segment and bring somebody on, talk to them about their life, talk to them about conspiracy theories, funny topics, stories in their life. I'm really excited for the guys. Are we excited? Yeah, Yeah, doesn't seem like it. (laughs) But no, this is, what was that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm really excited guys. And, uh, So every Monday, every Monday, there will be a new podcast. So you have to subscribe to the channel, subscribe to us on Apple Music, Spotify. It will be on all DSPs. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me, where's the full length podcast? They're here. They're right here. So let's just get into it. We're going to do the little topics thing, updates thing. We're going to just have a nice conversation one-on-one with the fans. Does that sound good? Let's do that. And then later on the podcast, I think we're going to bring a friend on. Does that sound cool? Cam, you want to be on the podcast later? Let's do it. Cam, I have a bunch of friends behind the camera right now, and it's a full room. I know a lot of people on TikTok are like, who is he talking to? Guys, there's people in here, all right? Some of them are just not comfortable being on camera, but uh, I promise you I am talking to somebody. So, But this week was insane. Uh, here, right by the studio, the studio's in downtown Dallas, you should know studios. And uh, I was driving through downtown, leaving the studio. It was nighttime. And I don't know if y'all have ever driven downtown before, but it's just like, you can't see anything but buildings. You look up, buildings, skyscrapers. I already have anxiety. Y'all know that about me. And I was driving, and it's, it's Dallas drivers are crazy. So I'm just trying not to get in a wreck, trying to get anybody hurt. But I look out of my rear view mirror, rear view, I look out of my rear view mirror, and I just see uh, fire truck lights. And I'm like, okay, well, Something's going on. Let me just try to get out of the way from them. I look in front of me. I see three fire trucks coming towards me. I'm like, okay, now there's an incident and it's towards me. I don't know what's going on, but I don't want to be involved in it at all. Before I know it, I look out of my side window. People are coming out of the buildings and like looking around and then they look up and pull their phones out. I'm like, what is happening right now? Am I getting attacked by the Avengers? I don't know what's going on. So now I got my BPMs in my heart skyrocketing sweat is happening i'm an anxious guy we already know that i get surrounded by like i kid you not at least 10 fire trucks sirens on lights flashing i'm behind the wheel like oh shit what is happening right now i don't know if i'm in trouble but i'm the only one at the road on the road at this point i'm the only one they cut me off so now i'm sandwiched in between these fire trucks i'm like oh no please just let me out of this i look over these firefighters shout out to all the firefighters they move at light speed. I don't know what kind of training they got, but it was 
unbelievable how fast they did things and how like accurate they were they get out of the trucks this one lady sets up a whiteboard with a bunch of magnets on it and she's moving it around somebody gets out of the other truck and they have a full tv monitor and they're looking at like a map i'm like what the hell am i involved in right now i just want to leave i don't know if i'm in trouble more people are starting to come out of these buildings and point their camera phones at the sky and i'm like we are getting invaded by a species right now there's no way we can't be i'm like panicking one of the fire truck dudes comes to my window and he's like, hey, we're going to get you out of here. Don't worry. Get me out of here. <laughs> what trouble am I in right now? They like maneuver away out of this like fire truck maze for me to get out. So I'm like, I get out of there. As I'm driving down the street, I kid you not, there's hundreds of people on the sidewalks with their phones out pointing them at the sky. I don't know what the hell is happening. I get further down the road. I look back. One of the skyscrapers inferno it was one of the biggest fires i've ever seen and i hope everybody's okay but that was one of the most scary experiences that i have ever been in in my entire life is that a, is that you think that was a cool story okay i i just <laughs> i just want the people to like be updated on my life and i know they like my story times and they want exclusive stories just for the long form podcast so there you go uh but this last week I went back home to Austin, Texas for South by Southwest. I don't know if you guys know what South by Southwest is, but it is a convention, a festival, you would say, and they have musicians, artists, tech people, scientists, like everybody. I think the dude, um, who invented Facebook? Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg was there doing his thing. They do like motivational speeches and like entrepreneurial stuff. So Austin, Texas at this point is lit, but you know, to get in a certain events, you have to have some kind of status or know somebody or buy like a $1,500 badge to get into the, the events. I don't have any of those things, but my friend and the friend of the show who's been on the show and will be on the show in the future, Mark Phillips and RDC World, were like, Peyton, we know you're in town for South by Southwest. Let's go to this Young Thug and Gunna concert. We got you on tickets. I like Young Thug and Gunna. I would love to go. And it's free. My friends are great. I meet them at the concert. We're there chilling, young thug gunna doing their thing. I'm like, okay, this is fun. I'm having a great time right now. The concert ends. I'm thinking, time to go home. It wasn't time to go home because I'm with my friends who just happen to be famous. They're like, you want to go backstage with young thug and gunna? I'm like, do I, am I allowed? Like, do I belong there? They're like, we got you. We get up on the stage. We go to backstage. I've never been backstage at like a rap concert or any concert. I've never been backstage of anything, but whenever I got in there, I couldn't see a damn thing. The amount of smoke in the air, like it was like Snoop Dogg and Willie Nelson were there. Willie Nelson's the guy that smokes, right? Willie Nelson, Willie Nelson smokes. Like he's known for smoking, right? I don't, Willie Nelson? No, I don't know. No. I don't, oh, it's just a lot of smoke back there. That's the the moral of the story. I couldn't breathe. I don't, I don't have asthma, but it felt like I had asthma, but I was just sitting there like hoping I get to meet young Thugger Gunner. Yeah. I was fanboying out a little bit. Like I'm a normal guy. We get back there and I realize I'm standing right next to Gunna's uh, dressing room. The door was closed, but I was like, Ooh, it's cool. He's right in there. We're just chilling out there talking for a little bit. I'm trying to breathe everybody. Like all my friends were like, I, we cannot breathe back. Like it was not a good time uh, oxygen wise, but, uh, I look over to my right and I see young thug leaving his dressing room. And I'm like, oh shit, that's thugger thugger. YSL for life, baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I should never say that. <laughs> but uh, he walks out of his dressing room and starts to beeline towards us. But we were right by the exit. I thought he was coming to say hi. I thought he was going to be like, hey, I love your TikToks. I'm pretty sure young thug's never been on TikTok in his life. <laughs> but uh, he walks by and I'm like, hey, hey, young thug. Hey, Mr. Thugger, he doesn't say anything to me. He's just, he just beeline straight out of there. I thought young thug would be tall, like in all his music videos and like stuff like that. He looks like a, like a tall individual. Like he towers over everybody. Dude came up to my chest. Like I was like, Oh, well that's a little different. And I heard like everybody in Hollywood is like short, but I've never been to Hollywood. I'm a normal guy. You know I'm saying? I do TikTok and podcasting and it's not that successful, but yeah, that's, uh, that's what I've been doing guys. I think this is a good time to go into our friend segment. I'm going to work on transitions. It's the first podcast, so we're going to go straight into the little talk I had with Cam. Should we do that? Cam, you ready to come on? Let's do it. Let's do it. Guys, I love you so much. Welcome to Season 2, Episode 1. The You Should Know Podcast. 
All right, we got my guy Cam on the podcast. Some of y'all might have seen Cam before on a very, like, it did pretty well. He was on the TikTok like two decent, or three times. Decent, yeah. How many times? Two? I think twice, yeah. So, two. yeah, Cam was my roommate in college, in freshman year. Unfortunately. Okay, it I'm wasn't, just kidding. It just wasn't kidding. that bad. Uh, Good guy. Honestly, I don't think I would have ever left my room freshman year if you weren't my roommate. I remember the first time I met you. Actually, not the first time I met you, but like the first days living together. You just saw me like sitting in my room and yeah. you were probably thinking like this guy's a, like a fucking creep. So I was try like, I didn't think you were a creep, but I was, tr I'm a very like, I can talk to anybody about anything, just kind of small talk type of guy. And I was trying to like, you know, what's this guy's niche? What is he like? What is he, could I get him to go to the calf with me? And we just talk about life. But you know, like your first couple of days, you never try to just invade somebody. And you're like, yo, come on, come eat. We're going. <laughs> and we're the same age. It's not like it was like. A, like a, a super senior and a freshman at like a you know university it was a you know juco so we're the same age so i would just try to do little small conversations here and there and it was always just like it felt forced until it didn't and then we we finally clicked but it was really easy because like the simplest of question would be like we, we had just so much in common like and we had no clue until i'd ask this little question like you know yo who's uh like what's what kind of music do you listen to? You like rap? Who's your favorite rapper? He was like, oh, I'm a big Eminem guy. And I was just like, excuse me? Yeah, that was like the first thing we like ever clicked on. Him? Like, like Slim? <laughs> he was like, oh yeah, huge fan. And I was just like, it's going to be a good year. How do you, how do you feel about this like recent TikTok success that I've gotten? Like, dude, it's kind of crazy. Like I always, I always knew it, you were more than capable of it. You're, you know, it's going to get better, everything. But like, the when I was kind of like, like dang, this is getting weird. Not weird, but like this, this is dope. It's really like coming to, coming to light, like fruition. Like we're seeing it. Was when people started like noticing him in public. Like literally the other day, we went to uh, went to the mall. We we're just walking into H and M. And of course, you're gonna get some eyes just being two, six, seven men like walking into anywhere. But so we walk in, but that's like obvious. But we just start looking through stuff, and I see these two kind of like. They were probably like seniors in high school, maybe, maybe something like that around that age. And they just start talking and pointing. And I was like, no way. And we like, we were in the mall for like five minutes. Like that was the first store we walked <laughs> into. And, uh, and they just started looking and pointing and talking. And I was like, no way this is about to happen. Like, yeah. this is crazy. Cause I haven't seen it yet. I've just heard about it. And then, uh, one guy was like too nervous to say it. And he tells his friend, he was like, dude, I'm pretty sure that's him. And the other kid, he's just like, from across the store. <laughs> hey, bro, you, are you you got a podcast? <laughs> and Peyton was just like, <sighs> he's like, yeah, man, what's up, y'all? What's y'all's names? Da, da, da. And just started talking to him. And they, they just like made their day. And then and then they dipped. But it was just, it was just crazy. It was like no, surreal. It's it's crazy that I'm getting recognized now. And like, I love like the fans or whatever, the people that support my podcast. But mm -hmm. sometimes it goes wrong. Like recently, I had a fan interaction that went terribly wrong. I was at our friend Jordan's basketball game. Jordan plays at a school in Oklahoma. Shouts out to Jay Willie. And so whenever I'm at my friend's basketball games, like I get hype. Like, you know, I'm like that like supportive mom. You know what I'm saying? I'm one of the loudest people in the gym. And Jordan at the time, he was going crazy in this game. Like he was hooping. And it was a closed game. I was the loudest one in the gym. I was standing up. I was doing the whole thing. I was like, yeah, Jay Will, he's on an island. Like I was doing the whole thing. And like mm -hmm. to the point where it was, it was obnoxious. Good fan. But like everybody was like looking at me. They're like, okay, this motherfucker, like this yeah. guy. But I didn't care. Like I was just like having a good time. And so it got to a point where I was the only one standing up and I was just being loud. I, I said something like, yeah, Jay Will, he can't guard you. And I stood up and started clapping. And then somebody like sitting to the right of me was like, hey, bro, sit your ass down and go dance on TikTok. I was like, oh, I was like, oh, shit. I was like, I don't even make those type of videos. Yeah, that's. You should have pressed him. No, but. but after, you should have pressed him. No, but afterwards, he, <laughs> afterwards, he was just like. Hey man, I'm a big fan of your TikToks. Like, brother, they're, oh. they're pretty funny. And so I was like, damn, you could have gone yeah, about it another I'm way. Saying, like, as the dabs happen, you're like, damn, you had to do that like that loud. Yeah, bro. Everybody? Like as soon as he said, because I was like, yeah, he's a, he's on an island. Yeah, sit that ass down. Yeah, I was like, go make TikTok. Yeah, he was like, bro, sit that ass down and go dance on TikTok. I was like, oh Yikes. shit. Yeah. No, a... it was unbelievable. But no, I'm very uh, 
you know, happy that people are like recognizing the work, you know what I'm saying? Sure. And like, that's not why I do this. Like, it's not why I started doing podcasts, like to be like, I don't know, like, I don't know, famous isn't the right word because I'm not, but just like noticed or anything like that. But the fact that people get excited to see me is the weirdest shit that has ever happened to me because I'm awkward. Like in person, yeah, I, was about, I was just about to say, y'all don't understand. Like he tells the stories about him being socially awkward and anxious at nine out of 10 things that can happen to anybody. But like, that's real life, Peyton. Like if someone pops up on him, Hey dude, like I saw your podcast. It was hilarious. Good work. Like outside he's began to like, okay, Hey, thank you. Inside. He's like, <laughs> like he's, he's freaking out. I guarantee you. So just remember that if you end up having to see Peyton, like if it's awkward, it's his fault, not yours. And just know he means nothing but the best. Yeah, no, yeah, and I love you guys. So if you ever see me in person, don't be afraid to say hi. I know some people like DM me out there and be like, just, I, just I saw you at the mall. Up. I saw you at the mall, but I was too scared to say hi. Man, I, I love y'all and I want y'all to say hi. But you had you had something you wanted to tell me, you wanted to put on the podcast, and I haven't heard this before, so I'm really <sighs> excited to hear what you're about to say. So another story time. This this one's not about Peyton though. This is just some insane, insane stuff that happened to happen to me. So uh, just going off of like crazy stuff that happens in a week. So we came back. I came down from Arkansas. That's where I'm at school. Uh, no one cares. Just say the story. Yeah. Came down from there. And <laughs> on the way back to Texas, we stopped at a gas station. And, you know, of course, got to go inside. You know, y'all might have your certain viewpoints on this. I'm the type of guy, if I got to poop, I'm pooping. So <laughs> what is happening? Right I'm now? not waiting for this porcelain throne, This my the glory of my own house. I got to poop. Poop's coming out. Plain and simple, back to the story. So we walk in there, right? It's it's a big gas station, small bathroom. Right. So I was already disappointed. Two urinals, two stalls. I got to poop though. Not, I can't use the urinal. Both stalls taken, okay? So I knock on the closest one. And it's those little stalls where like on the inside, if you lock it, on the outside, it shows uh, vacant, like mm -hmm. red and vacant or green available. So it's on vacant, but I don't know why I even knocked at that point, <laughs> but it's on vacant, but I still decided to give it a little knock. And a young, like young kid yeah. goes, yeah, it's still me. So I was like, okay, first off. So I immediately, like anyone should, if it's, yeah, it's still me. I check my surroundings. I go, I check my three, six, nine. I just look around. I'm like, okay, I'm the only one in here. So someone was in here at some point waiting on this child. And it's not, and the only reason I'm building it up is because <laughs> what's going to happen is ridiculous. But like, in hindsight, that's not weird to say. He's a young kid. He's probably thinking it's his dad. He's like, yeah, it's still me. Right. Okay. So uh, I'm sitting there waiting and like maybe 30 more seconds. He comes out and he's like nervous and he walks out. So I wait a second and I walk in. There's like this brown stuff on the seat. It's not poop. Not poop. I know. <laughs> It's not what is it problem. rust <laughs> tobacco this kid is nine maybe nine years old i'm not kidding <laughs> there's tobacco on the seat so it's one of those st again we're large people we can see over things it's weird but so i immediately turn around and peek over the stall <laughs> i peek over the stall we're the only two in here at this point and, and then the guy in the other stall that's just i don't know what he's doing but probably pooping but we're the only two. I peek over the stall and this kid, nine years old, is tucking a lighter into his sock, pulls his sweatpants over, <laughs> checks shoulders, walks out. I was <laughs> mind blown. I was like, what in the hell did I just walk into? Someone's waiting on him. So now it's not like a cute little son and dad waiting to get back to the car. It's like, you just did something yeah. that you weren't supposed to. You're nine years old. You're, you're like, someone's waiting on you to do this task yeah. because probably no one in the store is going to look at you because you're a nine-year-old kid. I go in, there's tobacco on the seat. Oh yeah, another thing. He never flushed. There was never a flush. I forgot to say that. There was never a flush. So I was immediately going in there expecting nastiness. Yeah. There was never a flush. So there's tobacco on the seat. I peek over the stall. The kid tucks a lighter into his sock, fluffs the pants down, shoulder check, and walks out. And I literally sat down. Of course, I put the paper towels over the seat. I'm not a sicko. No, the I, fact that... Hold on. The... No, yeah. time out. I'm sorry to interrupt you, sir. But the fact that you, you shit in public, like that raises red flags okay, for me. Okay, that is a red flag to a lot of people, but 
I think it's more of a red flag. No, I will. That if I'm suffering and I can end the suffering. I will go to I will go to the hospital before I shit in public. Nope. I used to like like in school, I didn't use a, a the school bathroom once in my like the whole time of school. Oh, I'd shit all the time in <laughs> biology. 100%. <gasps> No, yeah, always. Cause it was mis- it was a good a good teacher. I'm not gonna say her name, but she was a great teacher. And we all we'd typically be done with like the content probably 30 minutes in. And I was like, dude, I was like, if I time this right, I can get shit in before my next class. And I would just go. And it was in the middle of class, so no one's it. Like no one else was. It's not like people are like no one shits during passing period. That's that's different. No, cause that's a people, time crunch. People are roaming. Yeah. There's gonna be so much traffic. No, you gotta find your perfect little time and just make it work. That reminded me, like. Here at the studio, you know the bathroom we were just in. Yes. Before we started recording, first of all, there's bathroom. That weird. There, <laughs> there, that um, we just you know use the bathroom. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Right. No, there's like um, bathroom etiquette, especially for us guys. Like everybody knows that there's certain things you do and don't do if you're in a bathroom, a men's bathroom. Yeah. Period. Especially if you're going to pee in the urinal situation. Urinals, never, never checkmate. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? If you're in a urinal, you always space one out. Always. You always have to leave one in the middle. And in a men's bathroom, there's no conversations, especially amongst strangers. You don't talk in there. Don't it should talk. be dead silent every you time be you're pissing. looking at the cracks in the wall. Exactly. Counting Just, ceiling tiles, doing something. Yeah. But I was going, taking a piss. I was relieving myself, peeing in the urinal, as one does. There's like four urinals in there. A man walks into the bathroom, picks the urinal right beside me. I'm like, already? You're wrong. You shouldn't be doing that. First thing he does, he begins to pee. It sounds like I'm sitting next to like a stallion, like a a, a full like racehorse is pissing right beside me. I'm like, oh my God. He makes it worse. He goes, he looks at ceiling and says, oh my God. I'm like, bro. That's the worst. The, 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 The deep sigh of relief. Hey, bro, it, it was unbelievable. Then this man goes, sorry, bro, just had to drain the lizard. What are you saying to me right now? Drain the, the lizard. lizard? The lizard. Dude, that reminds me of our coach back in high school. He Very large man, like 6'10", 270. Mm-hmm. Like, played Division One basketball, all that stuff. He used to go piss in the urinals, and he would literally hit one of these. He'd walk up to it and <laughs> slap the wall. He'd go... And just be sitting there going. <sighs> he would hit the side with one hand just planted on the wall. I'm like, just pissed. Like, Bro, that guy didn't stop it. I had to drain the lizard. You know what else he said to me? He's like, oh, you know how that is, right? No. What are you, why are you talking to me right now? I did you not. You should have quietly just been like, stop. I did, not, <laughs> I did not respond to him. So I was hoping that he would get the hint that we're not supposed to be talking. You broke so many rules right yeah. now. First of all, you're at the urinal right beside me. Then you're speaking to me and telling me about your lizard that's getting drained. I don't want to hear yeah. any of that. Like you put me in checkmate then you're conversing with me. It's just, this isn't ideal. You need to pee. I need to pee. And we need to leave. So I, in one of the, I, I had to pinch it off. I had to, I had to end the pee immediately. I had to, get, I had to evacuate that bathroom. So as I go to leave the bathroom, he goes, "All right, man, you have a good one." What are, what is wrong with you? Why? Like, yeah, did you just think we had a moment? Like we're not relating on any level right now. You, you are annoying me, and you think I'm loving this. Like, like yeah, he's the, feeding off of it. Like, all right, man, take it easy. The, no. ba- the bathroom is like one of your most vulnerable positions. Yeah. But That's yeah, ridiculous. it was unbelievable. But uh, Kim, there's something uh, something else I want to bring up. And is it, is it okay if I like get vulnerable with you for a second? Uh, sure. Just hear me out. Okay. Just hear me out. Look at me in my eyes when I say it. Too. Uh, uh... <laughs> hey, Ryan, you can you can interject if you want to. I think we should normalize kissing with your eyes open. No, 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 not us. Don't, no, okay, all right, relax. What the hell are you talking <laughs> no, about? No, no, I'm just saying in general. Oh, like kissing like your partner with ki- your eyes yeah, open. Yeah, kissing your partner with your eyes open. I don't like that there's a taboo that you can't kiss mm-hmm. with your eyes open. I mean. I'm I'm the type of kisser. I like to take a peek when I kiss. If I'm kissing you, I like the way you look. So if I'm kissing, I just might want to, you know what I'm saying? I'm not over here bug-eyed like staring at you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but but I, I enjoy a nice little peek in the middle of a good old smooch. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I'm trying to visual. I mean, I don't I don't necessarily think it's like creepy or like 
like you said, if you're not like if you're staring, that's one thing. Eh. Depends on that bond. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, depends on the bond. Like depends who it is. No, nope. that to me. I just like looking. That's weird. I don't. I, and a little weird. And you know what's what? What's weirder is when they go, "Are your eyes open? How do you know that?" They had to have been looking at you. You were doing the same thing as I was doing. What gotcha. is what exactly? What is wrong with taking a little peek when kissing? I understand. I if mean, that, a, I no, I understand if the person's like bug eyed, like just like you know what I'm saying, like kissing yeah, you the like whole that. Whole time they're not even blinking. Yeah, it's like you're a killer. But if you're like in the middle of a good old smooch and you just give them a little bit of this, what's wrong with that? You, little, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I can kind of back you on it, but not full blown. Like, yeah, I support you, but. <laughs> You don't, don't, you don't, don't see. I don't. I don't necessarily. I don't necessarily declare it as wrong or creepy. <laughs> yeah. You said a little bit of a headbutt. That is a. You're just like, all right, I'll see you later. <laughs> just a little. It's like, I love you. <laughs> oh yeah, that that would piss some people off. Okay, this was the crazy like first episode. The fact that we what we just talked about. We talked about bathroom situations, tobacco inside of toilets and kissing with our eyes open. Yeah. I promise you guys, it's gonna get a little more normal through the episodes. It, for sure. But uh, yeah, that was a great first episode. Thank you for coming. We're gonna have different Take guests on every week. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Did, uh, did y'all have fun? Ryan was yes, it a good it episode. Was great. It was hey, great. Y'all are lying to me, but I appreciate it guys. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. A new yeah. podcast every subscribe, single Monday. Like, yeah. Remember, comments. We'll pull up it. all the comments. You know, answer the questions. No, yeah. And uh, this is going to be available on all DSPs. So like all Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, everything. And I, if you have any questions, if you want to be featured on the podcast, just DM me on Instagram. Send me a little video, and your face will be right here next to mine. So uh, follow Cam on Instagram. His stuff will be linked in the bio. You don't have to. Yeah, if you, he rarely posts on there. But you can follow me on Instagram. I love you guys so much. And uh, one out of ten koala bears don't make it home to Christmas.